This video is to show how to install a 2009 Toyota Corolla fault light. First of all, we are going to push out the cover by pushing these two tabs from the inside and then just push it out. After that, on your new fault light, you will have a connection go through here. And then there's one big screw over here. So you screw, put your hand in there and screw that screw and you will tighten the whole Fortnite unit. The same on the passenger side. There are two set of wire. One big set of wire is for the front. The second set of wire is uh, for the connection to the fuse area which is under the instrument panel so after you hook up the light bulb the two light bulb and then the whole set of wire you can use zip tie to tie it to the bumper area and then I route it to this side of the battery and there's two connection here one is wet and one is black the red connect to the positive, the black con connect to the negative. And after that, there's one wire remain, which is the yellow one. The yellow one, you have to follow through this and push it through the firewall. If you cannot find the firewall uh, hole to push in, just follow all those big whole bunch of uh, wire, which is all the wiring from the engine area and go back to the inside of the car. Just follow that and you will see a hole with a rubber cap and then you can slightly remove the couple of cap side and then just push push in your yellow wire. After you push in your yellow wire you will see a white tinkling around, around this area on top of this big area now you have to connect the second set of wire the second set of wire consists of a black wire a yellow wire and a red wire the black wire is to is for the ground the yellow one you just hook up hook it back up to the wire wire which we push through the firewall area and the most important thing is on the red wire what I did is I hook up this red wire with a fill tap and I tap it to the fill under tail light so every time when the tail light is turned on then my fault light will be turned on if my tail light or light did not turn on then the fault light will not be turned on there are many many ways to install this and this is what I want it uh, because I don't want I can turn on the fault light when other light is not turned on Some people actually also tap the wire to the dimmer area. Some also have run a special way to... As a word of caution, uh, this is the fill tap. So um, I'm going to put a link on how this works. There is a very excellent video uh, showing how to hook this up. Basically, if this is the fuse, if we hook up this way, push it out, it's different than we push this way out. So be careful with the direction, whether you want to go this way or you want to go that way. So please review that video for more information. So right now, I'm just going to test it if I turn this the tail light is on, which is this light. 
and I can turn on the fog light. Turn this off, the fault light will be off. So with that being said, if you don't tap it from the tail light, you can also tap it with the headlight. So only when the headlight is turned on, then your fault light will be on. So there's many many ways on how you want to hook this up. Thank you for watching. Oh, I missed one. Basically, on the second set of wire, the end of the second set of wire, you have the green connection. So basically, this is hooked up to the switch. And, and this way I put my switch over there. And all you have to do is there's one screw in there and you can just yank this out if you need more room and and all this can be pushed out and push this in that's all folks thank you for watching By the way, on the fuel tab, please make sure you get the correct one. There's something called Mini, which is for my car, and there's something called Micro Mini, which is much smaller and are for much newer car. And also, in addition to that, there is an excellent video on how to use the fuel tab. Basically, normally we just remove the fuel and push in like this and tap the power saw from here however there is a different if you install this way or you install this way so please review that video for more information thank you for watching